Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from AlexMercedCoder.com and this is going to be the first in a series of videos going over the next Query Builder. What the next Query Builder is, it's like an, it's not quite an ORM, but it's like an ORM you can do, basically it's a Query, it's a Query Builder. It connects to your SQL database, so this doesn't work with Mongo that I'm aware of, and um, basically allows you to build queries very easily and functionally. It's actually pretty cool, and do database migrations and all that other fun stuff. So first, let's go inside uh, a folder. Okay, so I'm gonna, I already kind of seeded into this folder, and I'm gonna just create a uh, in there. I'm gonna create a new npm project. So npm init dash y. Now I've already installed um, do 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 do. Um, what am I saying? Uh, next globally, but you also want to want to install it locally to the project. So to do that, okay, the command is going to be npm install next knex save. Oh, I don't even think we need to save. We don't flag anymore. So npm install next save, and then after that we're going to install whatever database we're going to be using Postgres because it's easy enough to go hop over to Heroku and start up a Postgres database to practice using and setting up. So when that installs, then we'll install the Postgres, which just would be npm install pg. And then that will give you the library so that way you can access the Postgres database. So it's installing, installing, okay. So npm install pg for Postgres still means you should probably have Postgres, the database itself, installed on your computer. Okay, but uh, this will do what you need for uh, NPM purposes. So we'll hit install there. I'm gonna let that do its thing. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead over to the root. And I'm gonna go create a dummy project. So I will delete the project once I'm done with these tutorials. So, the database information you will see is not of any use to you. The database will not exist by the time you see this video. So waiting for it to load, waiting for it to load. Okay. So let's create a new project, create a new app. We're going to call this practice next. Create app. And then what I want to do is create a Postgres database. I'm going to go to resources, and I'm going to click here, type in Postgres, Heroku Postgres, and I'm going to choose the hobby dev free database. So now I have a free uh, Heroku Postgres database. I click here, and that'll bring up all the details on this particular database. It's coming. Let me check in on this. This finished installing. Yes, it did. So I'm going to create my index.js, new file, index.js. Save. Okay, now from here, we can find our basically all the information you need to connect your database by heading over into settings. And you're going to be heading into View credentials, okay, and there you're going to find all the information you need. So I'll reveal it because again I'm going to delete this database. So there it is. And then basically what's going to happen is we're going to use that in our file here to connect to the database. So essentially what we're going to be doing is that we're going to bring in PG. Okay, so we're going to bring in Postgres. That is. You can call this variable whatever you want, but let's call it PG so we know it's our Postgres database. And we're going to require next. Okay. And then basically after that, we're going to put in our details to connect to it. So what we're going to do that is we're going to open up another set of parentheses here and then put an object inside of it. And then the client is PG. 
Mm -hmm. So it's a Postgres client, so that way Next knows which type of database it's working with. Okay, the connection string. Okay, that's going to be this string right here. Okay, that'll get it connected to the database. And again, you're going to want to do that in an environmental variable. Okay, you're not going to want to just have it hanging out here where people can see it. That's generally very <laughs> bad to do, but the point is we're teaching and we're going to destroy this right after we're done. Um, so connection. So we put the URL in there, but that should be in a string. So let me go highlight that all, put that in a string. There we go. And then I just need to go put a comma after that, comma. And then the last um, thing is going to be here, search path next public. Cool. And that completes that configuration piece. So let's delete that a little bit, make it look a little bit nicer. Cool. And then that should connect it to the database, essentially. Okay, so now that's that's gonna connect it so we can actually do commands here. But that's not going to be really useful until our database actually has like tables and data in it. So what we're going to first want to do is do some migrations. But for that, we need a next file. It's a file that just kind of tells next what's going to happen uh, when we run migrations. So we're going to do in the for the CLI, we type in next init, and there we go. It should have created a next file. So we see here we have this next file now inside here which we then have to change so let's see here. let's take a look password do, 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 do. okay I see it's like production staging development okay and we'll just need to kind of edit that to fit our particular database so for our purposes we're not going to have a development environment a staging environment and a production environment. If you did, you could specify all three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically get rid of this and pretty much get rid of all this. And that should make it all set for if there's only one. Okay, and I don't think I need this either because it's not SQL light. So we're gonna be using Postgres. Okay, and for our connection, we're just going to use that string again. So let's see here, control, do I still have it? Yep, I still have it there. Okay, so we're going to use that string and save. And then that's that. Okay, so the next step now, now that we have this next file, so that when we run migrations and also to connect to our database, the next step is actually make a migration. So you're gonna go back to our command line and do type in next migrate. So that way we know this is like in the migration area. So migrate. We're gonna make a migration and we're just gonna name it something. So we'll call it our first table. Okay. Mm, let's see what happened here. Action. Chris, invalid or unexpected token. Let's see what happened here. I guess there was a space there at the end. So save. Let's run that again. Okay, cool. And it created a file. So basically, we go back over here. We'll see a new folder created called Migrations. And then here we see a file called um, firsttable.js. And basically, um, 
what happens here is we have exports up and exports down. So for example, if you wanted to add stuff, you would do it here. So it's gonna add a table, add fields. You would put all sort of your things here. Now if you wanted to take stuff down, you'd put it in this in this function. Okay, but basically we're putting our directions here, whether we want to add a table, subtract a table, uh, etc. So we're just gonna make a very basic table. And basically all this function is gonna do is gonna return a next dot schema. Essentially this does everything. And then based, based off this, we're gonna chain on a whole bunch of commands that create tables and edit fields, all that stuff. So first we're gonna do is we're gonna create a table. So basically we're gonna do dot create table. We're all chaining off that schema uh, item. Create table. Then we're gonna pass in some parameters to create table, the first being the table name. Okay, so we're going to call this practice table. Okay, and now we need to describe what the table has. So we're going to say function, so we're passing in a function next, function, and then the parameter is the table, and then we have to define the function. Okay, and here we're going to define all the different parts of our table. Okay, so we're going to define a field that's just basically something that increments, and that's going to be called ID. So this field ID, since we're using the increments item or method on table, it's going to create a field that just naturally goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okie dokie. Now I also want another field table. We're going to call this a string field, and we'll call this just a word and we can specify other details like what's the maximum number of characters so we'll say 255 is the maximum number of characters and if you want to I could chain in not nullable which would just mean that it can't be blank I'm not going to do that um, I'm okay with it being blank okay and basically it just kind of keeps working like this so I can do if I want to have it like a float decimal type number, I can be like here, table dot decimal. And this could be maybe a price. And you can basically you can specify like, well, in this case, that's that's good. And that's essentially what I'm doing over and over again. I'm creating, I can create a table, and then I specify the things inside the table. Okay, so basically let's just make this table. So basically next we're gonna run the command next migrate migrate latest. Now when I run this command, what's gonna do it's gonna run, it's gonna look through my migrations folder and look for any migrations that haven't been run yet. Okay, so we're gonna do that. So next migrate latest. Let's see if it completes. Wait, no PD entry for folks to do. -do. So sell off. Oh yeah, we have to add like other thing to the string. Let me go look that up real quick. It's in the uh, Heroku documentation. You have to add like SS require SSL to the uh, string. Okay, so basically what I have to do is I have to head over to our next file, and I need to go find the end of this whole string, and I need to add. V SSL mode require. Although I think that needs to be treated as a query. So I think I need to put a question mark right over here. There we go. And that should do it. Okay, because this again, this is a URL. So essentially at the end of the URL, I put a question mark and then that's treated as a query. So I'm saying, hey, SSL mode equals require. And that should allow it to connect. Let's see. Let's hope for the best. Let me investigate. Okay, so basically, I've had to do this before. I'm gonna add this to it. This, so this is from the Stack Overflow article. I've had to refer to this two or three or four times now. Uh, when dealing with Heroku Postgres, not kind of in a nice tidy way. So let's go back over here. I'm gonna add this to the end of this. Just a couple more queries. Control V. So we're basically saying that SSL equals true. And then this SSL factory piece, but 
uh, more importantly, the SSL equaling true. So let's save that. And let me save this as well. And let's run this. And there we go. Okay, now it ran. So now we know that it ran. It ran one migration. Now here's the thing. How am I supposed to know that that migration actually like ran well? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go connect to that database via the CLI. So what I'm going to do is go back to Heroku to here. And then by here, you have a command so you can connect to the CLI for the Postgres command line. So I'm going to put that right over here. Paste. This should connect me to Postgres on Heroku. There we go, it's local PSQL command, could not be located for help installing PSQL. Okay, I gotta make sure I install Postgres later. Um, okay, so we'll just do this the, the harder way. Okay, so first what we're gonna do is add some data to it. Cool, so, and actually I should probably add that string over to our file before. So let's see here, our next file is here. I wanna copy this. Control C, let's go back to our index.js. Okay, good. Let me just make sure that's all good. Yes. Okay, so that's that. I'm gonna stop here and then can start the next video. Um, but again, this video we set up next, uh, we completed a migration, so there's a table that exists on our database. Okay, now we just need to add data to it.